Okay, everyone. So, who has played a mountain play game before? Oh, that's what that has. Okay, a few word plays. So, I guess before we kick off, do you want to just sort of explain what mountain play is? Uh, people, most people seem pretty familiar with the game, but uh, just for those of you who don't know, um, Mountain Blade is a, is a medieval sandbox game and it incorporates elements of action, RPG, strategy and simulation. So it's a sort of uh, very unique mix of different gameplay genres. Um, there's a lot of role playing, it's quite a hardcore PC, PC game and uh, we're very pleased to be showing it here in this kind of format because we get to talk about it, hopefully get some of your questions at the end as well. And it's, um, please just bear in mind this is a live demo, this is the current game in its, uh, in its current state. There might be a bug or two. Um, I hope everything goes well, and uh, there's a really, there's a lot of new stuff here that we'll show you. Excellent. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go to the computer right now. Uh, we're both going to be playing and talking about it uh, as we go through the demo. And Phil's going to be asking us some questions throughout. I'm just now to get my way in. <laughs> Um, we can't talk about that just yet. Yeah. Sorry. 
and also uh, how are the political options inside the game? One of the best thing of all that was playing passes one against the other and starting right. civil wars, those kind of things. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we have a uh, we have really expanded with options. We can't, we can't talk about all of them right now, but uh, obviously the way you the influence uh, the system to uh, uh, sort of um, it impacts uh, different laws and their behavior. That's going to help you on your if you have had much political standing. One new feature we have as well is. Uh, we have clans within the, the factions, right? So families that kind of group together. And so the way in which you uh, have a, a relationship with, with one character is going to affect how his uh, brother-in-law thinks of you as well, and, and all that kind of thing. So that's really, really uh, um, sort of improved and sort of deepened diplomacy. In, in, in yeah, so, uh does the feudal, the feudal system in the Mountain Blade 2 remain the same as the Warband, which is, uh, which is the intuitive feudal system, the king and the vassals? Uh, does that have been the same in Mountain Blade 2? It's a different. Uh, yeah, again, okay, okay, we have uh, the, the, the king. Uh, each faction has a sort of monarchic ruler, and then the, the vassals below that as well. So there's no uh, system like barons? Um, Earl or well, what you have is that they're still ranked as vassal, but I mean uh, the influence that different lords have uh, in the kingdom is gonna it's gonna vary based on if they're sort of the owner of a town or just the owner of a village. So the different lords are gonna have different um, you know amounts of uh, sort of power and, and sway in the faction, but they're all uh, lords. Yeah. All oh, right. So they remain the same title. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Some form, whether it's whether it's beta or how, how, whatever we do, we, we want to have it in some form in the player's hands uh, this year. That's what we're going. Uh, but we, it's not a guarantee. But that's what we, that's what we're shooting for. Okay. Okay. You. One more question. Hey, hi. Hello. Hello. Right. So, if we take a faction, for example, the town that's going on the map, if if we're not recruiting such, right, will the factions want to change over time, or will it still be the same as that league war map, where it's the one? If you took over a village on Mass Play Warlands, the factions always had the same culture regardless of the villagers. Would that be different on Battle Lord, where if you take over a village, will the factions called the well, villagers called to change so the troops would prove different? The, the, yeah. the culture is the location dependent, so it's, uh, you, you, you recruit the, uh, the troops from that, from that area. Guys, I would say, thanks very much for the team. Thank you very much.